All right, so if you've been watching the channel by now, you know that I make my own little schematics. Um, and uh, sometimes they're readable. I think this one's pretty readable, but you can see that I kind of hand draw things and sometimes it turns out a bit wonky. Every once in a while, I'd like to be able to draw a better schematic, okay? And so um, I did a video once on all of these templates you can get, and they're great, but they require a thin, uh, a thin pencil lead, okay? So like, here's the resistor here. And um, so it turns out kind of nice. And uh, I don't know, where's it? Here's a, here's a capacitor. I think this, this capacitor is too big in, uh, in relationship with that little, that little resistor there. Anyway, the, the point is that these are just too small for, for on camera, okay? So I could zoom in, <laughs> I guess, but, uh, and this is still of value, but what I found when I've been making videos over the last couple of years is uh, I really like these pens. Uh, these are micron pens and I like the, the 0.8 millimeter. Um, I think the 0.8 millimeter is a nice fat line, okay? And so I like the width of this, of this, uh, of this pen. And wouldn't it be nice if I had a template that I could use this pen. Well, it won't fit. These these little slots are too narrow for this pen. This pen kind of has a thick metal section and then a little uh, fiber nub, nub at the end that has the ink. It'd be nice to have a um, template of the correct width. So I designed it <laughs> and here it is. Uh, this is my prototype that I, that I 3D printed. And so uh, we can do the, uh, we can do the, uh, resistor here and let's follow it up with a, uh, follow it up with a capacitor here, right? So it's nice and big and it photographs well, cause I'm using this big fat pen and these things are big and everything. So this would be a good size. Now the problem with this one is it's opaque. And so it's hard for me to line up, line up things. Um, I included a, uh, a battery symbol, an inductor with a core of ground, uh, seen those. Here's a, uh, kind of a more, uh, modern resistor. That's just, that's just a rectangle. And then I put these little, these little things out here. So you, you can, uh, figure out where those lines are supposed to be. Uh, this is a connector. Um, anyway. It would be nice to have this in clear, okay? So I thought about, well, there are clear uh, 3D print materials, but I don't think they're as clear as I want them to be. So my friends over at PCBWay, um, not only do they do PC boards, but they do all sorts of other things. I've showed those on the channel before. I've d I had them 3D print some stuff. I had them do um, uh, an actual metal, uh, CNC routing or CNC milling of a part. Um, and, and they have, uh, all, all kinds of different things that they can do for you, sheet metal and everything. Um, so I, 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 I sent in my drawing and I had them make a, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? How do I photograph this? Anyway, it is the same thing. Uh, it's just a clear version of it, right? So now I can, now I can see through it. So now I can, um, come here and draw a nice, uh, a nice resistor, draw another resistor. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, it's going to be great. Let's say that it has a, uh, connects up to a battery. And now I can line it up. I can see the, um, I can see the clear things here. And there we have, there we have a battery. So yeah, so I have my own little template now. Uh, unfortunately, this, this ended up being pretty expensive um, with shipping and every, I think it's like 50 bucks, 50 bucks each. I had two made, $50 each. So yeah, I don't know if um, there's a better way to a different manufacturing process to make these. Um, they charged me extra because they kind of had to polish it after they made it. 
um, so there was an extra charge for polishing to make it look nice, but they're beautiful. They turned out really, really nice. So um, yeah, I'll take them for free, but <laughs> if, I had, if I had to pay my own money, I'm not, I don't think I'd go out and uh, spend $50 on a template. Although I don't know how much, how much do these templates cost these days? Uh, they might, these might be 30 bucks all by themselves. So I don't know, maybe it's not that bad of a price. But uh, anyway, like I said, they're, they're just not cheap. Um, but uh, you may see me use these in the future if I want to do a quick little sketch. I even included a little section here uh, if I if I need to add a uh, if I need to add a uh, transistor. I can put in my own arrow, and then I made a little FET symbol here. Um, so I can make my make my own FET. Uh, there's a uh, a uh, fuse, probably would put little knobs here on the fuse. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Anyway, that's a quick video for the day. Uh, I made my own, made my own stencil. This is super old school, but uh, <laughs> I kind of wanted it for the channel.